What's up everyone? Today is a new day and today is a new project. Although I have done this one before, um, but I haven't done it on this car. In front of me, I got a 2005 Infiniti G35 Coupe. And today we will be doing an oil change. And I don't know about your jack, but mine doesn't go down low enough uh, to go under the car on stock suspension. So I drove up a piece of wood, a smaller 4x4. Uh, and now we're going to lift up the car and we're going to get right underneath and get started on this oil change. All right. Getting right underneath the car from the front. This is your oil pan. Your drain plug is right here. And here is your oil filter. So I'm going to get all of these undone, drained, and we will continue forward. There we go. Oil is draining. Forgot to mention that you'll need a 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter socket to take out the drain plug, which looks like this. All right, guys, this is another perfect example of how not to over tighten a darn filter. Honestly, like, I cannot stress it enough. If you guys do your own oil changes, do not over tighten it. And if you take it to a shop, tell them not to over tighten the filter and tell them to follow manufacturer specifications because this is the second filter I had to bust open like this because it will not unscrew. And even this one, I thought I wasn't going to get it off. Here is the new filter. And what I always do is put some fresh oil around this gasket right here. I'll put fresh oil around the thread and I actually put a little bit of oil inside the filter. Then we're gonna get it onto the car and move forward with pouring fresh oil in. And this is what I use. I always use Mobile One Full Synthetic Oil. Five quarts of oil is gonna go into this engine. I already did that. Empty can. So something like this is $22.88 at my local Walmart plus tax. Uh, the filter was six something, like 650. So you're looking at, in theory, on a good day when you don't struggle with a filter, literally 15 minute oil change, and you're looking at 35 bucks to do it. So wish you guys the best of luck. Hopefully you take on uh, doing oil changes yourself. They are not that difficult and you will save a ton of money. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.